What is up guys, Digital Next, and today, I think we're ready to learn yet another lesson. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. What do you think you're doing? Oh, Jesse, you're hurting me. Stop your whining, you have coloring books for this. Why would you make a mess? Let go, let go. That is it. You are getting a spanking. <laughs> I won, so you gotta take me on okay. the okay. okay. That's it, you're getting a spank. Open hand. Sorry, forgot where I was for a second. It's just seeing red, all right? Anyways, it's okay. Shh, shh, it's all right, it's all right, what's up? The Johnsons, I don't know what your last names are, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's okay, everything's all right. She was fine. You know, I told her not to write on the wall and she did it anyways. What's wrong, Talia? She was trying to hit me. She what? That can't be true. What actually happened? Talia was upset because I wouldn't let her have a cookie, so she threw a fit and she threw all over the wall. I, I've just been trying to calm her down these past couple minutes. She's lying. She, she grabbed my wrist. It's not nice to make up stories about people. But... Uh, uh not another word. Why don't you tuck in Miss Hoppity in bed? I'll be in there in a minute, okay? All I'm saying is if you can afford to pay a babysitter to watch your kid, you can afford to have cameras inside the house. They're not that expensive, right? Then you wouldn't have to question be like, listen, don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. I'm just gonna look at the camera. Also, your main concern was her having sweets before bed? I'd be like, you drew on the wall. That, that's kind of a big deal. You don't do that, that's a huge no-no. You have paper for that, we don't draw on walls. But I, I guess the, the sweets before bed thing, ooh. Are you okay? You seem upset earlier. Just know that you can always talk to me, okay? Just know you can always talk to me, except for right now because you drew on that wall and that is driving me insane that you did that. That's crazy, that's absurd, unheard of even. Not really though. And tell Jesse to keep this window shut. It's not safe. Are you installing a nanny cam? Yeah. <laughs> no, Maura, we've known Jesse since Celia was in Pampers. My thing is, why does he have such a big problem with installing a, a nanny cam? Who cares? Just install it. Uh, are you doing something that you don't want to be caught on nanny cam? Hmm? I don't know. You shouldn't have that big of a problem with installing one. Kind of sussy baka to me. That's just a little sus if you know what I mean. I'm just saying. I hate to say this, but people aren't always the way they seem. You should be careful who you trust, Daniel. I just want to make sure our daughter is safe. And according to Talia, Jesse has been trying to hit her. I'm sure she was just being. I've been trying to hit her. She's our kid. She's doing bad stuff. Man, everyone trying to hit her. She, she's not the greatest, all right? <laughs> she's not a likable person, okay? Remember, guys, be likable or everyone's going to want to just hit you. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not installing this. Yes, we are. We're returning it. No, we're not. Yes, we are. You're no, being ridiculous. you are. You need to wake oh, up, okay? Sorry to interrupt. Must have came to the wrong address. I'm going to return on my way to work. Right. And just a reminder, we have mac and cheese in the fridge for lunch. First of all, why does the nanny have such a problem with you installing the camera, too? I would have just been like, there's been some stuff going on around the neighborhood, so I'm just putting the camera right here in the house, and I'm gonna put some around the house, too, just to make sure everything's safe. I wanna make sure you both are safe inside and that nothing's gonna go wrong, you know? That's it. Who's a, a nanny that comes into your house that you pay gonna be like, no, you can't install cameras in your house. Mm -mm, no, you can't do that, that's wrong. Straight to jail with this stupid. All right, well, we should get going. Yeah. Run away. Uh, before you leave, I was actually wondering if I could ask you something. Could I get in advance? I didn't know what you were gonna ask. Um, yeah, let me see what I got. What do you need, about a hundred dollars? 10,000? Girl, you babysitting for the next 10 years or something? What's going on? <laughs> what? Dang, I didn't know babysitters could take out advances of $10,000. That's insane. I, I've never been no babysitter. Woo. I, you guys be making some good money, apparently. That's a, that's that's a lot of money. Um, I'm I'm sure Jesse wouldn't ask unless it was an emergency. Right. Okay. Let's let's talk about it when we get back from work. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Uh huh. Bye. Oh, um, one more thing. You forgot the wrong package. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oops. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
10K for? I would have been like, what do you need $10,000 for? Ten th what? Do I look like a bank? Yeah, hold on. I got $10,000 in my pocket right now just for you. I knew you were going to ask me for that. Hold on for a second. We not riding together? Um, uh, no. I actually need to make a quick pit stop. Okay. I'll see you at the work. Yeah. There you are, sweetheart. You hungry? Good. I made my special meatloaf for you. I thought mom said we were having mac and cheese. Oh, no, no, no. You're having this, and trust me, you're gonna like it so much more. Oh. Please take some vitamins for me. Um, excuse me, ma'am. These do not look like they're in the shape of the Flintstones. Thank you. I only take the Flintstones gummies because everyone knows, everyone knows those work the best. They're yabba dabba doing in my system right now, getting rid of all the icky things. Don't fool me, you can't fool me. And no, I ain't gonna trust your meatloaf, probably not even seasoned right. <laughs> Where's my mac and cheese? All right. Oopsies. Oopsies? Oopsies? You are the clumsiest little girl in the world! I'm sorry, Jesse. Do you know what little brats like you get? They get spanked! What do you think you're doing? I saw everything. Now step away from my daughter. I'd be like, can I still get that 10 k on the <laughs> Can I still get that 10K on the way out? Or, or is that is that like a no-go now? What was, was the situation with that? Also, why are you, you, you raising, uh, you making it so obvious, all right? You gotta, you gotta keep it on the down low, you gotta, you gotta let, no, the last second. You're fired. You can't do that, I practically raised time. Uh, no! I need you back home, now. And you should be all good. Thank you, here you go. That's a lot of precautions to take against just one babysitter. I mean, I guess. Also, what is she doing at home? That, what is that little, what is she doing at home all day? I, I can't say anything, my parents left me home alone, all right? My parents look at me like, you have babysitter. Not all the time. I knew something wasn't right about her. I'm sorry, I should've listened. Now we have to change the Wi-Fi passwords and our pins and she had access to everything. I agree. Honestly, I don't feel right hiring another nanny. No, me neither. I, I, I just don't feel right, you know? Where's Where's Nanny McPhee? Where's Where's that lady that comes down on the umbrella and sings a spoonful of sugar, makes the medicine go right down, you know? Where's she at when times are tough like this? I'm just confused as apparently that lady's been with them for so long. That girl has been with them for so long. How does she not? I'm just gonna accept it for what it is. I mean, we in the, the D-Man cinematic universe right now. Speaking of Thalia, is she asleep right now? I'm not sure. She has been awfully quiet. You spent this entire time worrying about your child. You didn't even know where your child was? She was in a room. How do you do that? Wouldn't your child be in your side 24 seven after that? Daniel! <laughs> Daniel! What is it? <laughs> See, this is why you have cameras. I got cameras all around my house. It's like Fort Knox. I see from every angle. I, I, I have it on my screens. I'm watching, watching like a, a hawk. Okay, Amazon delivery person. There, I'm like, thank you, and they're like, who there? Who there? You know they're looking around. Who's talking? Don't worry about it. Put the package on the ground. Step away. Step away from my door. My Pomeranian. My Pomeranian's aggressive. He's mean. Not really. This is a crybaby. It's Jesse. What? What is it? What does it she say? She wants the ten thousand dollars. We will never see our little girl. She has an address, and she says we have until midnight. I'm gonna call the cops, and I'm sending them to this address. No, we're gonna send them somewhere else. What are you talking about? Come on, let's go. Or, you know, you tell the cops and you'd be like, hey, listen, they said no cops, but how about you guys don't go with your lights and, you know, guns blazing in there. And instead you set up a perimeter around the area. That way, when she tries to leave, she can't because she's just a babysitter and she's asking for $10,000 and she did something dumb like this. So I don't think she's that bright. She's throwing it out there. Or you put like an Apple AirTag briefcase somewhere and then you put the money in there and then you give it to them and then follow the apple air tag i'm just throwing things out 
I've never been in this situation, so you know. Do you have the 10 grand? You're not getting a dime. You realize no money means no Talia, right? I can't believe you would do this. You practically raised Talia. You take our daughter for ransom and it's none of our business? Let me guess. Shoes, clothes, a handbag, a vacation. Are you kidding me? No! No, I would never do that for that! Then what is it? I want to have a baby. Dang, they only cost 10K? <laughs> Where are you buying your babies from? <laughs> Where are you shopping that babies are 10K? I never seen them on the shelves at any stores, but you know, go off, I guess. You see... Oh, shit. Before I started working for you two, I was married, and I wanted nothing more than to be a mom. And we tried for years, but I just, I couldn't get pregnant. Sorry guys, I didn't know they were going to show Harry Potter and Ginny Weasley on screen right now. I know how everyone feels about that game. Sorry everyone. So we went to the doctor, and they said that it was my fault. <laughs> I was the reason I couldn't get pregnant. Okay, listen, I don't think the doctor was like, yeah, it's your fault. I think they'd say it a little bit nicer. They're like, listen, might be a little oopsies on your your side of things. Just throwing that out there. Not saying it's 100% your fault, but it's 100% your fault. The doctor said that there was a possibility if we used IVF. And we were so excited until we found out how much it cost. My husband didn't take that very well, and he left me. That's when I decided to be a nanny. Over time, I started growing attached to Talia in a way that I didn't anticipate. She may be, she might be a witch, she might be a vampire, she didn't age at all. She went from that thing being to a baby to her being like 10 years old and hasn't aged a single day. I mean, couldn't you take out a loan? I also, what do you need 10K for? Your husband's already gone. He's out of there. So what do you need? <laughs> that's why it drove me so crazy whenever you guys would try to tell me how to parent her. So you see, that's why I need the $10,000. I'm sorry you had to go through all of that, Jesse. I really am. But kidnapping our daughter, it was Your wasn't... daughter? She's more my daughter than she is yours. I'd be like, thank you for saying that. I was gonna say I'm sorry, but not really. I, it's, I don't feel bad. I... Boo hoo you, you kidnapped our, our child. Any, any care went out the door, all right? I'm... This is for Talia. <laughs> Justice for Talia is about the 2023 about to happen right now, all right? <laughs> so I suggest you. you give me the $10,000 so that I can have a baby of my own or you will never see Talia again. Mommy! Daddy! Freeze! Put your hands in the air! Oh, baby. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. I don't understand. How did you... If you know anything about Talia, said Miss Hoppity is her absolute favorite toy. And Miss Hoppity has an air tag, stupid. I, I don't know. So I put a tracker in her bunny. And luckily, when you kidnapped her, she took her bunny along for the ride. While you were trying to get money from us, we were just stalling until the cops could get to Leah. How could you do this? She's my family. People aren't always what they seem. After we put her in the car, we'll come back and get the statements. Are you ready to go home? I'll make you some mac and cheese. You think after, excuse me, after all that I've been through, you think I just want mac and cheese? Uh-uh, uh, -uh. I'm going ham tonight, all right? We, we, we ordered everything. I've been through a lot. I'm mostly distressed right now. Look at me. <laughs> when, the, when the cop said freeze, I would've went, put, this is what you do, put your hands in your pocket, make fast movements, putting your hands up in the air. You know, it works every time. All right, you guys, we got a happy ending yet again, all right? I'm waiting for the day where they pay the 10K and they don't get anything in return. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button to turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video, and I will see you all in the next one. Hey, guys.